Welcome back to How to Save Like a Mennonite, and I'm Rachel the Mennonite Miser, and today I'll be your Mennonite Miser advisor about miscellaneous things around your house that um, you may not need to use or you may be able to find a cheaper alternative. These are things like garbage bags, tissues, paper towels, and kind of thinking out of the box to create things that you need in a, a cheaper way. So I'm going to start right off with garbage bags. I have not purchased garbage bags, either the black or the white kind, for over a year. And this saves a lot of money. Um, if you live in a place where recycling is mandatory and you have specifications, obviously you can't um, do that. I did live in a place where it was mandatory and the town down the street from us, they required plastic bags. You had to use plastic bags to make sure that you were doing it correctly. And another thing that I uh, found that I couldn't find a cheaper alternative for were uh, the green bin kitchen waste liner. And you have to buy these. People were trying to get alternatives and they just never seemed to work. If you have an alternative to the green bin liner for the kitchen waste in recycle recycling areas, please do post them. I was always unsuccessful and had to compensate in other areas so that I could continue to purchase the green bin, green bin liners. Okay, so back to garbage bags. What I use now is I use the supermarket bags. Now, it may seem that I'm not being green and I'm being mean, but really I'm not because I do not buy any other type of garbage bags and I recycle these for so many different things that I am probably saving more trees and oil and money by using these. So you may already be using them for bathroom waste baskets. They're perfect for that. They fit right in there perfectly. But you can also use them for the, you know, the big black trash bags as well. I hook these over the back of a chair with the handles. Fits perfectly over a chair that I have that has little handles. And I use a um, one of the dust bins that's a little the dust, I guess they're called dust bins, that has the long handle on it. And I just sweep it in there and then I pour it into here. I tie them up and then I've got a big box outside the door, a big cardboard box. And I throw these in them when I'm finished with them. And then on garbage day, I just pour the contents of the cardboard box into the the big green garbage container. Sometimes I have to kind of double bag or sometimes if you're using um, you know some things that may be wet or whatever I put a bag on top of it turn it over and tie it to make sure that it's sealed. You don't want like creatures in there chewing on your garbage and things leaking out. It works beautifully, it's not time consuming, and it does save a lot of money. I also use them if I need to wash something. Um, I wouldn't I use these in the place of like latex gloves. However, you'd want to be careful if you need, um, you know, if you're using them or you'd want a sterile condition. Um, some people use them to change baby diapers uh, or to give themselves injections of some sort. Obviously, you wouldn't want to use these for that. But um, scrubbing, cleaning, if you don't want to get your hands wet or your shirt wet or whatever. I also use them for pumping gas. You know, you just put your hand in here, kind of tighten it up a little bit, and then pump the gas, take it off and throw it away. Because sometimes the gas, you know, it gets up on your, on your clothes and stuff, and that, that can just kind of linger for the whole day. It's quite annoying. So that, that's really helpful. Another thing I use quite frequently are salad containers. These are, you know, old salad containers that no longer have the salad in it. I use this for kitchen waste, and as mentioned, I no longer live in a place that requires recycling. And unfortunately, they actually charge you to take away your kitchen waste. I don't do that because it's rather expensive. However, I keep it for my own gardening and I give it to other friends that may want it for gardening as well. Um, so that's helpful. And also I use these in place of a bucket. Say that I need to do some cleaning and the bucket is dirty or you know I want a clean, something clean. So I use this and you can fill it up with soap and water. They're generally waterproof. And there you go. You've got something that you can clean with. It's they're they're great. Um, you can also use these if you want to clean something kind of gross, like you know around the 
toilet or whatever, and then just throw it away and, and you're good. Or recycle it if you can. Um, so you can use them to store food. I wouldn't put hot foods in there because they melt really easily. And of course, being plastic, you'd want to be careful of hot foods and plastic. Um, I no longer buy paper towels and tissues and the way that I do that with paper towels um, I take an old towel that I no longer need and cut it into the sizes that I want and I've got perfect towels before I do cut it though I usually bleach it in hot water because I usually use this in the kitchen and I sometimes use them as washcloths and, and also dishcloths as well so um, that's really a, a great tip and these last forever one towel can just create so many um, either dish towels washcloths and and dish cloths as well same thing with tissues I take a sheet that I no longer am using maybe it's got holes in it or something I do the same thing I bleach it and because um, you want it to be nice and sterile and clean and then I cut it into the sizes that I want for handkerchiefs some people go ahead with the upfront costs and buy a used hang you know, not used but you know the package of old-fashioned handkerchiefs and you, you can do that as well I like to avoid the upfront costs so I go with the sheet and you can make these really beautiful you can put edges around them and if you're handy with um, needlepoint and things like that there you can make really beautiful little handkerchiefs and one sheet will just make tons and last the rest of your life you'll never have to buy tissues again and of course they can be used for anything that tissue can be used as well other things that I use around the house are the noble duct tape this can be used for everything and I will post links to sites that show you know 101 uses for duct tape because there are way too many to even begin listing how I use these this keeps the house from falling apart another thing that I use that um, probably all of our ancestors used a lot is the tried and trusted little safety pin. These can be used for, oh, so many things. I'll try to post some links on, you know, 101 uses for the safety pin as well. I like to use them. Uh, one time I broke a watch and it was a very nice watch. It wasn't very expensive, but I didn't want to have to buy a new one. And I, it was just the clasp. I linked this through and I was able to make it fit perfectly. It was wonderful. You can adjust where you need to put that um, on a watch so that was great and it was on the uh, you know it was behind so no one saw it I've used this to make um, sometimes a pocket doesn't have a button and I needed to have one these are wonderful for that you can do that discreetly under you know in the, on the kind of underside of the pocket this can be used to adjust clothes again kind of underneath so no one has to see it and they're they're just so useful in so many different capacities and then as far as thinking out of the box I'll just give you one quick example and I hope that you do post your own um, I like to wear a watch when I go for a walk because uh, to tell the time and one of my watches was making my my wrist sweat and I needed a wristband and I was thinking you know like the tennis players wear and I, you know, looking around, the sports stores would sell them for like $15 a pack. I didn't need that, and then I couldn't find one, which was, you know, inexpensive. So I took an old sock, and I cut off the part of it, the top part of it, the elastically top part of it. And I simply use that on my wrist, and you can fold this over to the size of the watch that you want. You can fold it two or three times. It doesn't matter as many times as you like. And... Um, it works perfectly. You can hide the watch if you, I mean, hide it underneath the watch, or you can have some of it left out if you want extra um, capabilities to absorb the sweat. So there you go. Those are some tips for miscellaneous, and I hope that you post your own, because if you do a lot of these things all together, it will really help you to save a lot of money.